Bogo Mills. An unknown daughter of Boleslav the Brave married Sviatoslav, 943-972, Grand Prince of Kiev, who led a mounted force Viking force, known as the Kievan Rus, in a treacherous collaboration with Byzantium, succeeded in penetrating the Hazarian Empire, and destroying their capital idol in 967 AD. Sviatoslav was the great-grandson of Hafton Frodassen King of Denmark, in turn descended from Odin, and whose mother was Hilda of the Vandals. Hilda's father was Hilderic of the Vandals, whose mother was Eudoxia of Rome, the great-great-granddaughter of Constantine. 42 The resulting dispersal of the Hazars penetrated into the nations of Poland, Bulgaria and the Magyars of Hungary, who were vassals of the Hazars. The dynasty of the Piasts intermarried extensively with the Hungarian dynasty of the Arpids and the Komitopuli of Bulgaria. Hersigno, a daughter of Adelaide and Giza, married Gavril Radamur, d. 1015, the son of Samuel, Tsar of Bulgaria. 43 Samuel was one of four sons of Prince Comet Anicola, Count of Bulgaria. The Bulgars, during the 7th century AD, had come under domination of the Hazars, with whom they shared a language. The Hazars forced some of the Bulgars to move to the upper Volga River region where the independent state of Volga Bulgaria was founded, while other Bulgars fled to modern-day Bulgaria. Comet Anicola belonged to the Bulgarian Kometopili dynasty, who according to the Armenian chronicler of the 11th century, Stephen of Tehran, originated in Armenia. 44 Kometa married Ripsame, a princess of the Bagratuni who became rulers of Armenia in the 9th century AD, and who claimed Jewish descent. 45 Moses of Chorin, who wrote a history of Armenia at the request of Isaac Bagratuni, in the middle of the 5th century AD, stated that King Hrachi I joined the Babylonian King Nebuchadnezzar, c. 605 BC, c. 562 BC, in his first campaign against the Jews, and took part in the siege of Jerusalem. From among the captives he selected the distinguished Jewish chief Shambat, and brought him with his family to Armenia, and it is from him that the Bagratuni claim descent. 46. According to a tradition first recorded in the work of the 11th century Georgian chronicler Sumbat Davides 47 and repeated much later by Prince Vakishti Bagrationi, 1696-1757, the dynasty claimed descent from King David and came from Israel around 530 AD. According to the tradition, seven refugee brothers of the Davidic line, three of them settled in Armenia and the other four arrived in Iberia, where they intermarried with the local ruling houses. One of the four brothers, Garam, d. 532, founded a line subsequently called Bagrationi after his son Bagrat. One of Garam's successor was installed Prince of Iberia under the Byzantine Protectorate, receiving the title of Kura Palates in 575. 48. The Bulgarian Tsars David, Moses, and Aaron, the sons of Prince Comet and Nicola, became defenders of the heresy of Bogomilism, that developed in Bulgaria in the 10th century AD from Polychianism. Another descendant of the Mithraic bloodline was the Syrian queen of the 3rd century AD, Zenobia of Palmyra, who led a famous revolt against the Roman Empire. Saint Athanasius, Bishop of Alexandria, c. 328-373, reported her as being a Jewish follower of Paul of Samosata. 49 Paul of Samosata, the capital of Comagene, was known as a Judaizer and Saint Athanasius also accused him of wanting to introduce Judaism into Christianity. But Paul of Samosata's Jewish influence was of a heretical variety, and likely derived from the Kabbalah, as he inspired the Gnostic sect of the Polycians, who believed in a distinction between the God who created and governs the material world, and the God of heaven who created souls, and who alone should be worshipped in other words, Lucifer. Therefore, like all Gnostic sects before them, they thought all matter to be corrupt. For the Polycians, Christ was an angel sent into the world by their God. Jesus' real mother was not the Virgin Mary, but the heavenly Jerusalem, an idea derived from the Shekhinah of the Kabbalah. Because they claimed that Jesus taught that only to believe in him saves men from judgment, 
their enemies accused them constantly of gross immorality, even at their prayer meetings. In 970 AD, the Byzantine emperor John Tsimisas, himself of Armenian origin, transplanted as many as 200,000 Armenian Polycaeans to Europe, and settled them in the Balkans, which then became the center for the spread of their doctrines. They were settled there as a bulwark against the invading Bulgarians, but the Armenians instead converted them to their religion, eventually evolving into what is known as Bogomilism. 50. The Gnostic doctrine of the Bogomils, meaning in Slavonic friends of God, maintained that God had two sons, the elder Satanael and the younger Jesus. Satanael, who sat on the right hand of God and to whom belonged the right of governing the celestial world, became filled with pride and rebelled against his father and fell from heaven. Then, aided by the companions of his fall, he created the visible world, image of the celestial, having like the other its sun, moon, and stars, and last he created man and the serpent which became his minister. Later Christ came to earth in order to show men the way to heaven, but his death was ineffectual, for even by descending into hell he could not wrest the power from Satan ale. Nystus Genites, a Byzantine historian of the 12th century, thus described the Bogomils as, considering Satan powerful they worshipped him lest he might do them harm. 51. 